What if consciousness isn't created inside the brain? But what if your mind is actually a signal, attuning into a quantum field that exists around you? Some scientists think the brain might function more like a receiver than a generator. Deep within each neuron, there are tiny components called microtubules present. They can support quantum states, superpositions, collapses, calculations. If that's true, your thoughts begin in quantum space long before they reach awareness. Quantum systems can entangle. Now, could so-called mind's experiences of sudden intuition, shared emotions, inexplicable linkages, need not be a function of the mystical, but of quantum phenomena among conscious entities. Quantum biology is already present in nature. Birds use quantum coherence for navigation. It is used by plants for transferring energy with perfect efficiency. If life is able to use quantum effects, why shouldn't the brain? And if the brain itself receives consciousness, then when the receiver is shut down, the signal may fail to disappear instantly. Near-death experiences assume a new scientific reality because split-second awareness independent of brain activity. This results in an audacious proposal. Indeed, consciousness itself can be an inherent field within the universe itself. And the brain. Just one way of accessing it. If true, we're not isolated minds. We're part of a larger quantum reality. Maybe consciousness isn't inside us. Rather, perhaps, we are within it already. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more amazing science videos.